Hey guys, Bombbuster72 here. So I'm on the road, I'm in North Dakota this week, but I saw something on the news that I just, I had to talk about. So, California State Senator Kevin DeLeon, he was on TV and he was talking about this ghost gun of his. Now, I'm not sure exactly what it was about because some of it just really didn't make sense to me. He was talking about this thing having a 30 caliber clip magazine or something like that. But what I did understand was when he said that this thing could fire 30 rounds in a half a second. And he made sure he repeated this as 30 rounds in a half a second. I mean, just wow. 30 rounds in a half a second. I don't know if you guys have done the math or not, but that's 3,600 rounds a minute. Your normal, well, I say normal, but a fully automatic M16, it's about 600 rounds per minute. So this thing is six times the speed of that. An M240 or a 249, they're a little less than a thousand rounds per minute. So, I mean, this is even faster than that, supposedly. The only way, when you start getting up into like the, uh, the M134 minigun or a GAU-8 that's in an A10, that's where you get these speeds from. This is where you start to get this. And it's, it's pretty crazy that... that it could even possibly do this. I mean, we're talking those guns, yeah, you have multiple barrels, a multitude of them, I mean, a ton of barrels going, and you have to have a motor to get them spinning fast enough. So, really, I mean, I just want to know who the heck invented this thing? I mean, if this thing can really do that, I mean, that is just amazing. Was it Tony Stark? Because that makes sense. If it was Tony Stark that invented this thing. So, really. But you know what? I guess you really, you're going to need this just ludicrous speed when, when you're trying to shoot ghosts. I mean, they're, they're all floating around, going through walls, moaning and rattling chains, and you need, you need 3,600 rounds per minute to do this. There's, there's no other way. So, but I do have a few questions. Like, will this thing work on ghouls? And, and how about banshees? Because I really have a ghoul and a banshee problem that I, I want to take care of. And what about other monsters, like, say, werewolves or something? I, I mean, okay, just this is hypothetical. If I have a 30-round magazine of silver bullets, would this work on a werewolf? Because, you know, I just think a solid beam of silver would probably work better than just one little bitty bullet. I, I could be wrong, but I just think it would work better. And how would it work on other mythical creatures? I mean, I actually drew this this year for the Yeti hunt, and would this work for a Yeti? Because, you know, I really don't know how to hunt Yeti, but I drew for it, so I would really like to, to take advantage of that, and if this gun will work for that, I'm there. You know what, though? Really, I mean, this thing, it, it's, it's a gold mine. So, Kevin DeLeon, me, you, Kevin Stark, the inventor, we're going to market this thing, and we're going to make a mint. I tell you, we're, we're, this is going to be amazing. I mean, think of all the countries out there who would just love to get their hands on this. I mean, really? The checks are practically writing themselves. For the rest of you guys out there, this thing will be available soon, probably. Um, you know, if you have a poltergeist problem or something like that, just give us a call. Reserve yours. Get your ATF paperwork done now, because, you know, that takes a while. So, so just go ahead and do that, and we will, we will get it for you. But until then, and until next time, take care and be safe.